We're going to teach you how to use the narrow rolled hammer foot to produce your own double fold narrow hem. It's a great time saver foot. We have one that comes in the quarter inch, which I'll be demonstrating. And then there's also a skinny one, which is the eighth inch. You want to make sure that you get a good quality foot. You can get a generic one, but they're super cheap and a, not a very good scroll. Um, these happen to be Brother brand. Bernina brand is also a great brand. Then they work really nicely. When you use a narrow rolled hem, um, you cannot turn a corner, so you would have to hem two sides and then hem the top and then hem the bottom. So I'll also teach you how to do a corner. In order to uh, use this foot, it is a low shank foot, so I've added the Bernina adapter. If I was using the snap-on foot, I would need the low, low shank adapter as well as the Bernina adapter to make this work for the Bernina. So we'll demonstrate the quarter inch one. You will need to experiment and practice first on your fabric to make sure everything's set up right. I have moved my needle one to the left. It really depends on your own machine and uh, which width of hem foot you're using. You will need to prep your corner by pressing under a quarter inch once and then twice so that you get the double fold. Place it under your presser foot. Make sure the edge of your fabric is to the left of this little guide bar. I like to have the needle in the down position so I can stop if needs be. And go ahead and stitch for just a half of an inch. Stop, raise the presser foot. Now you're going to open up the fold of your fabric and put the raw edge up into the curl and then lower the presser foot. And then your job is just to fold the fabric, not crease it, but just a soft fold, a half inch width. And then as the fabric feeds into the curl, it will curl the fabric under the needed amount. Guide it. And go all the way to the end. Cut your thread tails and then also notice that you may have some extra fabric there. So trim that off. You do want a 90 degree corner like so. I've already done the opposite side so now I'm going to show you how to begin and end a corner. Once again, you have to start it, crease a quarter inch and do it again quarter inch. We need a pin. And then we'll do the same thing at the opposite end. I like to do it at the opposite end because we uh, don't want the, the presser foot to push the fabric like so. Okay, We want to make sure that corner stays even and doesn't come off the edge. So I'm going to put a pin there as well. Now I could start here and I could back stitch, but it's hard to stay in control and make sure that your um, back stitching is um, even. So I'm going to do a little trick that I do sometimes with corners of hems. I'm going to sew um, forward for my back stitch. I'll be in better control. So I come about 3 8 from the bottom corner and I'll put my needle in the down position and this way I can stitch forward. Needle's down so I'm in control. Stop. Raise the presser foot, take the pin out and I would even clip the thread tails so they don't get stuck into your stitching. Go ahead and turn the corner and uh, now we'll do our forward stitch again. You may need to help push your fabric along. Stitch for about a half of an inch. Stop. Raise the presser foot. Open up your fabric. Of course your sample 
or your napkin will be much larger than my sample. Fabric is into the scroll or curl. Press your foots down, continue stitching. You're folding a half inch out here and let the foot do the rest. When you get close to this corner, I take the fabric back out of this little curl so that I'm in control of this corner. I'm going to have to take that pin out because I stopped too close to that corner. Put the pin back in. So now the fabric is under the presser foot. Continue stitching. You're in control. Maybe two more stitches. There we go. Needle is down, raise the presser foot. Couple of stitches, and then we're finished. Being in control of your corners will make a nice 90 degree without any of the fabric hanging over the edge.